All right, let me find this um, Law Tyler Ashi? one Washington Post. Is that what it is? Up all night with a Twitch millionaire, the loneliness and rage of the internet's new rock stars. Ten hours a day, streamers are broadcasting lives of obsession of and wealth for an unforgiving crowd. How long can any of them last? Wow. Neat picture. That's an IKEA desk, by the way. That thing's gonna break, guaranteed. Motherfucker with millions in bank still living in a trailer. It's like, what's the point? You stream 10 hours a day, well, who cares if you have a mansion or not? In fact, I would literally say, living in a trailer or a small house is actually financially like, it helps your stream more because your kitchen is closer to your computer. So you're, le you're less downtime on stream. New London, Mo, oh, just for midnight and bathroom too. Uh, as for six hours, just 10 hour Twitch stream, Tyler Steinkamp rages or rage begins to erupt. He's just scarfed down a dinner of cold chicken fingers over the sink during a three minute ad break and raced back to his computer where he is playing the battle arena game League of Legends as 28,000 people watch. His face is broadcast into the screen alongside convulsions of neon warfare and a racist chat box overflowing with 280 messages a minute. An anonymous audience is demanding his attention and unloading on him for every mistake. He has four hours of on-camera time to go. It's going to be a terrible day, he tells Washington Post reporter before turning back to his screen to read one chat message aloud. Does League make y'all depressed? Yeah, it does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Another 282 messages blast in. At 26, Tyler is a millionaire and one of the internet's most popular streamers. For 50 hours a week, he broadcasts himself playing video games from his cramped living room in his 900-person Missouri hometown to 4.6 million followers watching him from around the world. He earns more than $200,000 uh, a month in Twitch ads and viewer subs, sponsorship with Nike and Doritos. I'm jealous. Streamers like Tyler from the backbone of tech giants created an economy and with their lives on permanent display, they pioneered a raw form of entertainment. While Instagram and TikTok uh, value viral perfection, Twitch fans flock to more unpolished streamers. No one can stay perfect on a 10 hour marathon. But by punishing, or but the punishing need to stay relevant in a super saturated market is also fueling severe burnout. After five years of building an unapologetically aggressive persona for an audience of mostly young men, Tyler is exhausted by the expectations of an unforgiving crowd. Tyler, whose father is black, has endured years of personal insults and sometimes explicitly racist abuse. And as his world or online world has grown, his real one has shrunk dramatically. Tyler has millions of fans, but no friends. Before spending a recent day with a post reporter, no one besides his girlfriend and family had visited in his house for several years. That shouldn't surprise anyone. Tyler is one of the few to see tangible rewards from his Twitch career when hackers in October published a vast haul of internal Twitch data. They exposed the site's brutal economy. Though more than 7 million people stream on Twitch every month, only the top 3,000, less than 0.1%, made more than the typical American household earning $67,000 a year. The vast majority are earning next to nothing, streaming to empty chat rooms, waiting for a single person to come watch. I'm gonna add more on this. Less than 0.1% made more than the typical household of $67,000. But on top of that, like, think about Twitch streaming. It doesn't actually go... Like, let's say you work as a waiter, or you work as a host, right? You eventually work your way up. Uh, now you're a fucking waiter. Now maybe you're a manager. Now you go to a more prestigious restaurant, right? That's a basic career path. Um, a lot of my friends are doing that, right? But like streaming doesn't go into anything. So let's say you're making, I don't know, fucking 40,000 a year as an individual, right? That's not a lot, but it like, <laughs> it's not guaranteed to go up. Growing up in Missouri, Tyler loved to entertain, showing up for another camera's birthday when his mother got his first computer to rent at center. The five-year-old would stand behind while she played Minesweeper, helping her, her find the bombs. She'd had him at 17. Tyler never knew his dad, but his mom introduced him once he was very young, worried Tyler might regret having never seen his face. Or having seen his face. In the winters, they'd heat their trailer with the oven or scourge quarters to pay for gas. Tyler spent hours in the school gym and in the sprawling fantasy worlds of Diablo and RuneScape, developing an all-consuming competitive streak. He'd duel into the night with his brother over video games, hugging the computer to the quiet sound. At Central Methodist University, where he played football, he started streaming from his dorm room so his RuneScape buddies could watch his screen while he played. Then on Christmas 2015, his grandmother gave him a $50 Best Buy gift card, which he used to buy a webcam. His face has been on stream ever since. 
On Twitch, Tyler said he multiplied his personality by 20. An over-the-top meathead who didn't take himself too seriously. A stranger who joked like a friend. His teammates pounded on the door for him to come hang out, but Tyler never uh, relented. I would just sit inside, he said, perfecting my craft. His audience grew until he finally made $52 in a week, enough he reasoned to live on. If he ate $10 worth of rice and potatoes each week in the summer before his last year of college, he sat in his mom's duplex and told her he'd be dropping out to stream. Ooh, he would have been the family's first to graduate. She told him it was okay, but you could see her tears. Damn, that sucks. Tyler wakes up that Tuesday morning in October, like usual, chasing five hours of sleep with a fluorescent bottle of Blood Rush, a caffeinated pre-workout drink, in a powder, powder tub with his screaming face on the label. He has only a few hours until his stream begins. He lives beneath a highway billboard two hours from St. Louis and rents a rundown house from his stepdad. The place is cluttered with junk, unopened boxes from fans, Tyler One figurines. On his nightstand sit bottles of Adderall pills he's taken for attention deficit hyperactivity disorder since he was in first grade. He lives only to lift weights at the YMCA. He comes home to his desk with his Dragon Ball Z posters. Uh, and a Walmart keyboard. He's superstitious about uh, using anything else. Around 4.45 p.m., it's time he starts... Wait, he uses Adderall, too? Oh, my God. That dr I, I, Oh, God. All right. Around 4.45 p.m., it's time. He starts to stream with some thumping hype music and summons a primal scream. Thousands are already waiting. He's here, he's here, he's here. One viewer writes 12 seconds in. Tyler always uses a story spinning himself as a superhuman, but on this day, he, he also follows it with the truth. His brain is frying from not enough sleep. On his last stream, he told fans that for several years, he'd been waking up in the middle of the night, gasping for air. Look at me, he says with a stage laugh, flexing his biceps, lightening the mood. If it was this big, would you be watching? Or if I wasn't this big, would you be watching? Oh, my God. I know, like, four people who take Adderall all the time, and same shit happens. Um... Tyler always boasted on his, uh, of his focus and endurance amid a stream's chaotic overload. His eyes darting between relentless messages as he shouted over the, the bruising soundscape of digital war. In the past, he'd take month-long breaks to ease uh, his throat and rest his brain. But he is a celebrity now, and that means he has sponsorship requirements to fulfill, events to attend, corporate contracts to uphold. His latest Twitch deal includes a performance quota. He streams 200 hours a month. He must play constantly to hold up his top rank in each league season, which he typically ends with a 40-hour marathon. He allows himself to eat only during the commercial length breaks between games, which can last 30 minutes or more. He forces himself not to yawn because yawning means boredom. Boredom viewers go somewhere else. That's true. Uh, some days he doesn't have the energy to become the amped up warrior his crowd expects. He tries to fake it. He said, but he can't always come alive. If you take one day off, they're like, where were you, bro? How could you? <laughs> it sounds like XQC viewers. Um, it's like mental illness. I just can't imagine like actually I, I, watching a stream is cool, but I can't imagine, like, getting upset that a streamer took a day off. Like, that, you must be so sad. It's, like, depressing. When he stops streaming in the hours before sunrise, he's often too drained to speak, peeling off his headset, rubbing his face with his palms. On off days, he rests his throat, going entire weekends without saying a word, lying in bed watching a 10-minute YouTube video recaps on his phone. He still enjoys the thrill of competing, sparring with hecklers, captivating a crowd, but he sometimes looks in the mirror at the rings under his eyes and thinks about how blissful it must be to work in a cubicle. I get it. I get where he's coming from, but man, you can't say that. I... I... Now I know why people in the comments are probably pissed. The grass is always greener. I get it. Like, from his perspective, he wishes he could just, at some point, just, like, like yawn. Like, just yawn without having to think about viewers leaving, right? Just that small bit of mental peace, I guess, in that moment. But you have to think, oh, man. I do see what you're saying. Even a disagree. Do you? I, I get it. But disagree, and also, I can't believe you said that. <laughs> uh, all right, let's move on. Let's. All right, free to sit silently and do nothing. Okay, that do nothing. That's gonna really fucking rub salt in the wound. Oh God! Oh God! Oh! <laughs> Oh no! 
That was not quoted. You're right. You're right. It's not quoted. That's the journalist's fault, but I get the comments, and poor Tyler's going to get reamed for it. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. He's feeling more anxiety than ever and more obsessed about control, getting worked up if his headset falls or feels off, his chair sits weird, his mouse has moved even an inch. How bad is it going to get, he said. In five years, am I going to not function if my right shoelace is tighter than my left? Tyler estimates he's made more than $5 million over the past few years, but he has no credit card, financial advisor, or clear sense of how to spend it. His rare splurge this year was on a $170,000 Acura NSX sports car. Nice. Which he keeps in his big tool shed. Tyler helps fund his stepdad's roadside fireworks stands on his, uh, and pays his mom $70,000 a year to bring him dinner every evening. Calzones or Salisbury steak or chicken and rice. She quit her job but still feels torn. Is your kid supposed to take care of you and pay your income? When people ask, she tells them she's a personal chef but doesn't mention it's for her son. Tyler's fans discuss his life and swap memes across Discord, yada, yada, yada. Sending him gifts like handwritten letters or sketches of his face, but scorned followers have lashed out, demanding to know why they were ignored. One night, two fans left a note on his doorstep with their phone numbers alongside a menacing gift. A tombstone bench, bench inscribed, your spirit lives within me. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. Tyler and his girlfriend, a fellow streamer named Michaela Edwards, uh, have also had police officers with rifles swarm their home, forcing them to the ground. After an online harasser falsely reported they were holding a baby hostage. Such, or such swatting attacks uh, have led to multiple deaths. The couple suspects the caller wanted violence live on stream. No one has been charged. Local sheriff's office declined to comment. The cruelest attacks always come from someone who watched a lot because they know you so well, Ismail said. They're watching to hate you. Yeah. As night slips into the morning, nine hours in, Tyler accidentally hits stop streaming. He starts the next broadcast a few seconds later, screaming fury, or in a screaming fury. The camera recording him as he scrolls through his old Twitch VODs, all of them 10 hour plus, obsessed with this new nine hour stain. It's like a tick, he says, slumping into his chair, face glowing. Just f it, man, maybe I just need to retire. <laughs> he streams for another hour, then check, that's the Adderall talking. He streams for another hour, then checks how viewers reacted on social media, walks to his bed and collapses. It's 3 a.m. and the house is finally quiet. His next stream starts in 13 hours. I fucking hate Adderall so much. I I'm so fucking mad. I hate it. Don't read the comments. Or the com oh, I forgot. He found a way to become a millionaire at a very young age. The only question is whether he will live to see 30. He can't keep this up forever. Doesn't have to. Tyler, you're only going to be young once. Take the money and go have a real life before you miss the chance. Well, as a streamer, you're also only going to make that kind of money while you're young, more than likely. Unless 20 years from now, all the 50, 40 year olds are boomers that actually play games all day. I know if you shake your head and say this whole scene is deeply weird and troublesome, you're marked as an old fuddy duddy. <laughs> I'm going to use that. Guilty as charged. Big money rewards, you say. <laughs> Well, I guess the Roman gladiators were sponsored, and if Lucky to Live made a fair income, they got, uh, they too got fame. The real downside isn't among the internet stars, it's among the fans. The fact that your teenager young male offspring is inside your basement slash den slash his bedroom for hours looking at a screen and texting, no real human contact interaction, no development of social skills, no intellectual development, a narrow mind and low info base. Gee, where could this possibly lead to a democracy? Or lead to democracy? I actually don't disagree with that. I didn't even know it was a thing. Paying to watch someone else play a video game online? What a waste. Nothing is produced for the common good, but the financial success of a person streaming. I always wonder what the value of, like, a stream or entertainment is. I always, I always, <laughs> in my head when I'm just thinking to myself, uh, I think about, like, an RTS game that I'm playing. And, you know, you have to provide food for the civilization. You got to provide water and you got to provide shelter and then of course they've got like rigid religion requirements and then they have like happiness requirements and Are entertainment buddy, requirements buddy? Lol. so the entertainment and like i remember i played some game and i actually didn't add any entertainment and they all just started committing suicide <laughs> they were well fed they had they had shelter and they had water and they all just started dying <laughs> I don't know what game it was. I forgot. <laughs> so it's like streaming doesn't do anything. I'm like, well, everyone's going to start killing themselves. <laughs> 
kind of fucked, but that's what I think in my head. <laughs>